officer. Ah! He did it. Me? Ah! Hmm. He's the jug man. Ah! How are we gonna beat him? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Our news division, please. Ah! Ooh. Haven't you heard of the five basic food groups, Jugs? You know, the food pyramid? You mean this? Jugster, you are one of a kind. Hey, aren't we all supposed to have a double out there somewhere? Not me. I'm a complete original. Hmm. You sure are gorgeous. One cafe latte with sugar, chocolate, and cinnamon sprinkles. Just how you like it, Ronnie. Not bad. For a robot. So what's the... Guys, the news conference. It's about to start. This is a seminal moment in Riverdale High history. You can't miss it. You heard him. It's a seminal moment. Whatever that means. Your local reporter, Lana Manana, here at Riverdale High, where today, history is about to be made. Today, Riverdale will step into a brand new era of energy efficiency. Hey! <laughs> As I pull this switch, Riverdale becomes a geothermally heated city. A new geothermal furnace is not only meant to heat the high school. All right, way to go, Mr. Weatherby. Arch, come on, keep him jabbering. The longer he talks, the shorter first period is. And the less time for Miss Grundy's pop quiz. Woohoo! <laughs> Chickens. I ah, bought this really cute woo. little dress at the mall yesterday. Thought I might wear it this weekend. Go, Mr. Weatherby! You're the man! We want to hear more! Keep going! Geologists discovered so much thermal gas, they predict we can heat our town for years to come. Woohoo! Wouldn't you like me to wear my new dress this Saturday? Ooh! Archie! Mmm, what's up on Saturday? Oh, like this little thing called homecoming. <laughs> Maybe the guy wants a beautiful blonde on his arm, a smart blonde who can cook. Want some spicy beef jerky? Just smoked it yesterday. Hmm. Cool, Betty. Thanks. Better not, Archie. Might upset your stomach. Nothing I cook would ever upset his stomach. Ugh. You asked for it, Betty. Ugh. Hey! Mr. Chughead Jones, start explaining, young man, about a certain yellow fruit. <laughs> I've heard a banana peel can significantly reduce enlarged proboscis pores. Don't patronize me, boy. It was an accident. Really, Mr. W? How many times do you have to be warned about eating... Yeah! Get the exterminator! Careful. That's a North Capudgian dung beetle. Extremely rare and very valuable, as is every insect on this wall. I don't remember these bugs being here before. Entomology, boy, my new passion. The legendary millipede horribilis, the vampirian assassin bug. And my favorite, not an insect per se, a tapeworm gigantorama found in the intestines of a 90-year-old woman. 
She lost 17 pounds when they extracted it. Oop! Ah! Touch them, and I guarantee you detention longer than the lunch line for Miss Beasley's triple bean soup. I'd really like to hang with you, but I better get to class. Detention, three o'clock sharp. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have so far? I will never, ever hurl bananas or any other fruit, vegetable, meat, or fish product at my principal. Nor will I show any other egregious signs of disrespect. Egregious? Egregious and wantonly impertinent signs of disrespect. <sighs> Principal Weatherby, or any other person in Riverdale, or any other city in this oh. large, wonderful, populous world. It was only a banana. Because no one likes a banana stuck on the end of his nose! Exclamation point. One hundred times, then you may go. One hundred times? That smacks! Make that 150. after the tone.
Mr. Weatherby? How'd you do that so fast? I took a speed riding class? Hmm. I guess you can go. All right! <gasps> My Kerpudgeon Dung Beetle! Cockroachium Colosseum! No, not my tapeworm gigantorum! Ah, the Vampirian Assassin Bug! This is monstrous! Monstrous! Who could have done such a thing? Jughead! This is Principal Weatherby! My insect collection! It's been cannibalized! Why, of course this is an emergency! Welcome to Cyber Burger. Would you like to try our triple? Good luck, Cyber take to the homecoming dance, Pop. Betty's so sweet, but Veronica's so much fun. Looks like maybe Veronica's already made up her mind. Huh? Hey, gorgeous. I got something for you. Huh? Thanks. A girl always likes a rose in the face. Mr. Jensen went out of town and left me in charge of the Cyberger Cafe. Who's your little pal? Bits? Roses are red, violets are blue. If you do not go to homecoming with Reggie, he will probably get the flu. Romantic? Really? Ronnie, baby, what's it gonna take for you to come to homecoming with me? 
Oh, maybe an ice age or two. Ha! I'm wearing her down, definitely. That's not how I perceived it. Though, as a robot, I could have... Can it! Man, this place is hopping. Great ambience, huh, Bits? So nice and quiet, like a tomb. Nothing like the Cyburger. So, when are you gonna throw in the towel, Pop? Robots aren't allowed in here. And neither are rats. Tailless or otherwise. Dozen burgers, Pop. Thanks, guys, but Reggie's right. What? What's this? Going out of business? But you love this place. I'm an old-fashioned guy, and this is an old-fashioned restaurant. Maybe too old-fashioned. That's right, Pop. It's smart to recognize when you've lost it. Reggie, Pops is the best, and you know it. <gasps> there he is, officer. Huh? What? Forsyth Pendleton Jones, a.k.a. Jughead, you're under arrest. Okay, 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 I confess. It, it wasn't speed riding. Hold on here. This must be a mistake. No mistake. He ate my entire insect collection, all $20,000 worth of my bugs. I never went near his bugs. I want his stomach pumped ASAP. Maybe we can save a few before he digests them. What? This reeks. Last year, I had 10 guys ask me to homecoming. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Are you all... Ah! Hey, I just got that fixed. Jughead? What's with you? And what's with the furry boxers? They are so paleolithic. You're paying for this! <laughs> Weird! Even for Jughead! We found six hamburgers, three cheeseburgers, and a hot dog, but no bugs in his stomach. We checked the handprints in your office against Jughead's. They're close, but not identical. You mean Jughead didn't do it? That's right, sir. Well, I'm sorry, Jughead. It's okay, Mr. Weatherby. If I were looking for the guy who ate my bug collection, I'd suspect me too. It's a real mystery, huh, Arch? I mean, who'd want to eat those bugs? They weren't even fresh. <laughs> Jughead Jones! How'd you clean up so fast? Got tired of the Stone Age look? Maybe she's the one's been eating bugs. Whoa, Ronnie! What happened to your car? He did it. Me? Why am I being blamed for everything? <laughs> Ronnie, what's with you? You're definitely acting weird. I'm just acting like him. But that's normal for Jug. So start from the beginning. When did this happen? Ten minutes ago. But Jug's been in there the last two hours. Huh? But this guy looked just like you, Jug, except for the fairy boxers and a bone in his hair. Hmm. Why don't you show us exactly where this happened?